Hello everyone, Frugal Tesla Guy here, and I am coming back to you from a video I posted earlier today, and it was about the latest release coming in for the Tesla Model 3 in particular, at least. Uh, I, I'm not sure about the S and X. There may be some other features in there that do include uh, the two other cars. However, the, the main feature that I had focused on in that video was the pin to drive feature that's finally been added to the Tesla Model 3. Quick recap, what that basically is, is you put a toggle on in the car, and when you get into the car, you must first enter a four-digit PIN before the car will go anywhere, before the car will do anything for you. And it seems to work great. However, there are some people that have asked questions, and it's actually a legitimate question to even think about it. It makes sense. What happens if you try to do the passcode more than three or four times? Will it lock you out? Well, it turns out the answer to that is no. So here it is. I just put my foot on the brake. I'm trying to get in. All right, so I don't, let's say I forgot the code. What happens this? I, I try this. One, two, three, four. Now, typically after three or four attempts, many devices will lock you out. Not the Tesla. You can keep going and going and going and going. Now there was also someone asking about, well, I noticed that when I put in my, my pin, that that's when the allow comes up. Allow comes up for any four numbers, whether they're the right numbers or not. So again, I, I could just keep going on and on and on, and it just seems like it just allows you to do this. Now, maybe after 50 attempts, <laughs> you know, it may lock you, I don't know. I'm not gonna sit here for 50 attempts, I suppose if I want to spend an hour and do this and tell you the results, I could do that. But I don't think anybody wants to watch a video of some guy punching in a bunch of numbers incorrectly for even as long as I'm doing it now. Okay, so that's that's what's happening now. So the next step, the next thing I thought of, well, okay, let me try my key. Okay, let's see where where's my key? Where did I put it? I can't find my key. Well, I thought I could try my key. Oh, it's in my pocket. Let me try my key and see what happens. So I've got my Tesla key. I'm going to put it in the center console here. Let's see what happens. Nothing. It won't let me put it in reverse. It won't let me put it in drive. I forgot the pin. It won't let me do that. All right. So then the next step would be at the bottom here, it says enter your Tesla account credentials. That's asking you if you forgot your pin. Here's the problem. I'm clicking on it and it's not taking me anywhere. It seems to be a broken link, at least in the Tesla Model 3. So that's the problem. But then I tried something else. And it's actually, it includes going into the app. And from there, the car will eventually work. Now, uh, I am a low budget YouTuber here. So I'm actually using the phone to, to record my videos. Maybe one of these days I'll get a different uh, video recorder or something for these videos. But until then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this video recording and then I'll tell you what I did. I am back. And what I did is I went into the app and I put it in valet mode. Now the reason I went into the app is I actually tried to do put it in valet mode from the car. It wouldn't let me because I needed to know the, the, the four digit pin. So again, from the app, I went in and I put it in valet mode. So now the question is, can I start the car? I indeed can. Um, I can go into drive, I can go into reverse, I can do whatever it is I want to do, I can drive the car at least from valet mode. So then I thought to myself, well now what? What if I take it out of valet mode? And what I'm going to do, I, I think I did this before, I'm going to go ahead, oh I have to put it in, let's put it in park, now it will let me do some stuff here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter my regular uh, valet mode there we go i just that, that that's the uh the the four digit pin that i have for valet mode but uh i took it out of valet mode now here's what's interesting now i've got full access to the car regular access it's got my name right up there i can put it in drive and i can put it in reverse so it seems as of right now um the only way if you actually forgot your pin the only way you're gonna be able to get into the car and get it working is put it in valet mode. And then if you want full functions of the car, 
getting it out of valet mode. So then the next question is, what happens after I do all of this that I try to get into the car? Will it ask for the pin? Let's find out. Okay, now I am back. Uh, I did the valet mode thing that I was talking about. Now let's say I'm trying to get back in the car. Well, yeah, again, see it's asking for the four digit pin. So here's the thing. I went to the website, I went to my account on the Tesla website to see if there's anywhere I could go in there if I had a problem to forget my pin. And it seems that there's nowhere in there that will allow me to do that. So my guess is that the only thing you'd be able to do at this point, if you forgot your pin and you wanted to reset it, that you would probably have to call customer support. That would be my only kind of the last uh, thing that I would try to do at this point. Of course, I know the pin, right? It's one, two, three, four, and now I'm good to go, right? So, but again, if, if you find yourself in that situation where you forget your pin, at least in the Tesla Model 3, the only option you're gonna have to reset that pin at this point is to call um, Tesla service and they'll probably be able to get you set up and everything would, would be fine. But as of right now, you can't even get into the forget your pin and, and going into all, all of that. So that could be a bit of a problem. So that hopefully answers the questions that were, people were asking. Uh, and the main question was, if you try so many, how many times that you can try the wrong pin number, will it actually lock you out? And at this point, it doesn't. And I don't know, that concerns me a bit, right? I mean, if this is something that's supposed to be a security feature, doesn't seem so secure. Obviously, there are, after so many attempts, people will just give up, but there are, you know, you've got a beautiful car here. Someone may want to try to get into it and they're going to keep trying and trying and trying and, and eventually they may get it right. So hopefully that answers your question and it should be interesting. I'm going to be posting another video. It's going to be quick. Uh, about the other feature. I, I was playing around with the new app uh, and I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to show you uh, what it does. But um, that is um, this part of the video that I wanted to show you what happens with that pin number. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like or a thumbs up. And if you thought this was informative and want to see more of my future videos like the one I was just talking about and want to make sure that you can uh, access it uh, quickly, then you can subscribe to my channel. And if you plan on buying a Tesla at all in, in any time in the future, you can use my referral code. I will, of course, post that link below this video. So once again, thank you all for watching. And I've got this new tagline that my wife wanted me to try out. And instead of the stay safe, it made more sense to have the tagline, stay charged.